Today, I'm going to talk about more on the real-time data streaming in dashboards. So dashboards here, we are talking in terms of Looper. So our main topic is the demonstration of the real-time data streaming. So for those who are not aware, what is Looker? So it is a BI software or a tool. We can say it's an analytics platform in which we can explore, analyze, and see the data, right? It could be back data, it could be streaming data, it could be normal, so everything, yeah. This is the base layer, like it could be a website, it could be a web application, which is sending data to some database, right? Every time, uh, like data is being sent into some database. It could be any, any SQL database, like Redshift, SQL Server database, and it could be BigQuery, any SQL. Next, with the help of that database, Looker gets connected. We connect it through dialects, which we have plenty of dialects which we can connect to any database. Then, at the LookML layer, Looker gives us the modeling layer where we define the all our measures, dimensions, then everything. We do that data modeling kind of thing in Looker. Then we have a UI in Looker for self-exploration BI tool. We can use this. So this works like this. And next is the data journey on Google Cloud, how it works. Data is coming from PubSub. If we see it, it's a streaming data, continuously generation of data from IoT sensors, some web apps and mobile devices. So data is continuously streaming in. We have some transformation logic being placed at the data flow level. Data gets stored into BigQuery. It could be Cloud SQL as well, based on my design and the architecture. Then we are doing the analysis in the Looker. So this whole pattern drives like this. Now, what is real-time data? So real-time data is the data which is delivered immediately after collection. Like I have placed so many sensors in my area and like in cities. So they are generating data and they are sending it to some database. And the streaming platform, which we have, if we say streaming service, it's a pub sub, right, in GCP context. What are the benefits of having that real-time data? The benefits is we are more reactive, right? So we have built that visualizations on the top of it. Once we see the visualization, we can react in real time. Okay, my sales are getting down. Okay, this this the temperature is continuously increasing, something is like that, right? And we can do our testing and customer behavior, like customer feedbacks and cost savings. So like people from the executive team won't be saying, okay, give give us the last, pull us, pull last refresh report for us. Rather than they just go into the dashboards and see the latest report every time. Every time. And some benefits of it, like in the, Business spaces like gaming analytics, like top 10 players that keeps on changing every time, right? Traffic analytics, retail, and like my product sales are getting up, high, low. So that means an application monitoring, like if my some machine is down, I, I can get the update. So data could be anything as it is stored. Next is the demonstration of real-time data streaming in Looker dashboards. So. I have created a small program, which is pushing data to BigQuery. Simple program, if I showcase that, how it's, the table looks like. It's a two, two records only, DD. DD refers to here as a date and a random number. So if I preview it, it is generating some random numbers and I have a date here, date field here. Now, what my program will be doing it is going to insert records one by one in every five seconds in BigQuery. If we go to here, this is my dashboard in Looker, but this is not a real-time dashboard. If I have to use it in real-time capability, I would have to come here, open this dashboard. Okay, let me go to this Looker. Right. I'll be just refreshing it, so it refreshes. See, it is, it is not updating right now. 
I'll refresh it here again. Refresh it once, twice. We will see some traction here. Yeah, see, if you see the movement, guys, I have to manually refresh it every time. But what my use case is, okay, I'll be sitting idle, I'll be doing nothing. It has to be something like heartbeat monitoring system. My sales are going up, I'll not be doing anything. So how I can leverage those functionalities in dashboards, we have that auto refresh functionality, right? We'll be going to edit it, settings, and then we do not, we have streaming data. This is my visualization at the back end. I'll say refresh every, it depends how, how much time interval I want to refresh my data, right? So it is, suppose one second, I'll just save it. As soon as I save it, it, it tries to pick data from BigQuery, right? And in terms of BigQuery, I have chosen BigQuery, but we can choose any kind of database, which is a SQL database. It could be SQL Server, Redshift, any, any SQL one. It is refreshing every second. As soon as the data enters in BigQuery, it is refreshing. So what it is doing, whatever the query being written in at the back end, it's the select query, which is fetching the records. So this query is being fired every second by looker, by dashboards, if I say. Every second this query is being fired, only then we get the data. Next is we have some pros and cons of using it. So pros were like for the business context, it really makes sense to show the live data. But in terms of cost, the queries are getting fired every second, right? And one more thing, if I can show here, how can I keep track of it? What queries are running? I'll go to I'll go to admin section. I'll go to queries. You will see it is querying every second. See, every second it is querying, querying to big query. Now people might be thinking, okay. Looker has its cache functionality as well. Why it is not taking using the Looker cache? But the caveat here is when we use the auto refresh feature on any dashboards, it doesn't use any kind of cache. We have to be extremely careful at what level of real time we want. Near real time, like past 10 seconds, past one hour data. So we have to design it in that fashion. So this time I have, I just did it one second. This is querying, this query is going live to BigQuery and fetching the data every time. Okay, what if this dashboard is opened by 100 people and their laptops? Okay, so how many queries they are like continuously firing that time? Initially, when they open the dashboard, there will be 100 queries. That same 100 queries will be fired. But yes, for one second, after that one second, it would be similar per query per second, not 100 users multiply by 100 queries ads per second. No, it won't be like this. For a first, when we open the dashboard for first second, we will be having 100 queries, like sim single 100 queries. But at the second second or a third second, fourth second, it would be only one query for every dashboard. It, it, it's not like 100 queries per second. The, the best part is, if I am not using this dashboard, simply I have just closed it, my dashboard, it will stop querying. All the queries will be in sync based on the auto refresh interval period. Frequency of dashboard updates. So suppose I have a dashboard in which I am showing 25 tiles or 20 tiles. It is, if I set like one second interval, refresh the database, refresh my all the data, it is definitely going to put strain on my database, right? So we have to avoid it. And also we need to keep that thing in my, in our mind that our refresh interval time should be less than the database update interval always. If I if my database is uh, getting updated in every minute, so I can set it to every minute, not, say, not in seconds, right? So, and the feature like 
auto refresh feature which we just used never pulls the data from looker cache it's it always pulling from the database